Good morning to you. Morning. Uh, how serious is this problem? It's an increasingly serious problem. I think the, the, the story is, is a great story, by the way. It's not just about, about age, it's also about social class, that everybody wants a taste of the action, which everybody wants to try the things that the beautiful people are trying. But even, even our OAPs, they want to try it of too? Of course they do. Why should they not have a taste, they think? And people are doing this for a variety of reasons. As it points out in the story, lots of these people have used other drugs in earlier years and think, what's the harm in doing this as they get older? Um, and it's a kind of bit of an antidepressant thing as well, because life, life is tough, so they're trying to cheer themselves up, but it's a very ineffective antidepressant. Mm. I was going to say, I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's not a good idea, is it's it? It's a very bad idea. And with terrible side effects and as well. The consequences that we see more and more older people using, using drugs are the consequences to their physical health. If you've got a cardiac uh, abnormality and you take cocaine, you take a stimulant, you can have a, a cardiac arrest or, or set off a worse abnormality in arrhythmia. You can have a stroke. It also affects your liver and, of course, it affects your mental health. Mm. It's, it's a depressant overall. Are, you, are we seeing more older people using drugs like cocaine? Or are we assuming, because these tests have been done in bingo halls, that it is older people who are using it? We're but it could be the more younger people using bingo halls. <laughs> the population are using more and more drugs of all sorts. Are they? Yeah, yes, they are. And, and pe people want something to take them away from, from the difficulties that they have. Why and are we losing the war on drugs? Be, be, because, why are we losing the war? Because people want more and more of it. They want something exciting. They, they want to do what the people in the Chelsea Hotel and the beautiful people are doing. And they, they want to try all this. So the more people that are exposed to this, the more difficulties you're going to have. So how do we, how do we try and turn that round then? Well, first of all, it's stories like this that make it recognised, but unfortunately, availability for help really isn't there. People have got to admit they've got a problem before they want to do anything. Um, so that's the, the, it's a public education um, issue. But we've had, uh, we've had so many years of education about drugs, it seems extraordinary that there is an increase rather than a decrease because also we've heard about the consequences of course as well and usually we're targeting the, but the strange thing as well like we're saying is you target young people to try and get them not into it but the, this is this is the people of the third age these are the people that yeah, you know in theory were, have been targeted for years they, like they, they were they were young and they started to smoke weed and do amphetamines and stuff like that in the past and now they've moved on to this interesting dr nile campbell from the priory thanks very much Thank you. indeed